and welcome back to more Metroid Dread. Now, we are going to travel back to the previous area to see what we can use our white beam on and... Ow. Traveling back to the fiery pits of, uh, whatever that is, Catharsis, Cathar, whatever, you, however you pronounce it. Ah, uh, more of this, uh, train thing. So, time alone again, Samus, with nothing but your thoughts to pass the time. So, how are you enjoying your stay on this barren wasteland of a planet with everything trying to kill you? Same as about every other adventure, huh? Yeah, this is not awkward silence at all. Kataris, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce that, whatever. Let's see, uh... Okay, so we're back in the Emmy area. So let's see what's unexplored. That apparently. So in order to get there and to this unexplored area, I am going to need to go down here and get to this area. All right. Crap! Oh! Didn't think I could do that, did ya? Okay, well, ah. Oh, hey, it's you again. Well, we can get rid of this annoying little Emmy. Again, am I the only one who doesn't see the similarities here to Mother Brain? Hey, 
And... Okay, seriously, is, is someone going to explain what the crap these things are? At least hopefully. Before the game ends, I really wonder what those are. That... Oh, welcome back, Omega Blaster. You look so dang cool. Oh, the Omega Cannon. That the Omega Blast... Oh, wait, Omega Blaster is online. All right, so. Let me just. Come on. There you go. Now you're screwed. Now I got you right where I want to. Ha <laughs> There. After everything you put me through, you're finally dead. Now give me that speed booster. I want to excuse me, I get the morph ball like this? What? Oh, what was the other enemy that had the speed booster? Never mind. Oh, I got the confused. But yay, we finally got the Morph Ball after so long. Seriously, the game took a long time to give this the Morph Ball. Alright, so let's see. And tail and crouch transform. Uh-huh. Oh, we can jump in our more oh we are, so we come with the morph ball jump. That's nice. Wait, press B while moving towards the top. Alright. Cool. Ah, so no. Ah, ha, ha. It is so nice to have the morph ball back. Missile tank acquired. Now it is a crying shame that we don't have the. Um, I'm not sure I like the way that sounded. But let's get our missiles back. I can. Missile tank plus missile plus tank acquired. Oh, so we get a missile. Nice. Oh, I can teleport. So this is a teleport. Interesting. Well, but that answers the question that looks like we are going to have to get the Morph Ball Bomb separately. Oh well. Alright, 
Well. Alright, let's teleport. Well, this is weird. Kind of reminds me of Metroid Prime 3's uh, teleporting between the uh, Brio Fiery area to the Ice Age area of Brio. I gotta play Metroid Prime 3 again. Those were better days, weren't they, Samus? Where you had overpowered hyper mode, you could blast everything and you didn't need to worry about these stupid enemies. Ah, alright, but let's finish this adventure. Okay. Ah, more pop bombs. Okay, that's energy. Alright, well, it looks like I gotta go. Ow. Well, it looks like we are officially in a watery area. And I'm going to save as much as possible because I have no idea when I could get screwed over. Energy part, dang. Yep, that's probably the super missile. Looks like we got another redirecting the magma. Looks like everything's going. So the magma currently rises, huh? Well, that was disturbing. But do we get the various suit now? Please? Yay, I think we did. Yay, I think we finally get the various suit. Please, please let it be the various suit. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is what I like to see. Good old various suit. Yeah! I guess this- will we be getting the gravity suit this game? I wonder. It would be nice if we did. Reduces damage from main attacks and insulates from extreme heat. However, it does not prevent damage from extreme cold and lava. Oh, okay. Slightly increases damage- uh, okay, cool. 
So it protects against extreme heat, but not extreme cold because, you know, we're part Metroid now. But now we can go into fiery areas like this. I kind of figured that'd be too much to ask. Oh crap. Ah. Oh, so we can't actually go back. Okay, now we actually have to teleport out of here. It's a nice way of backtracking while not actually backtracking. So, Samus, out of all the times you've teleported throughout all your adventures that have led you to right this moment, have you gotten used to the feeling yet? Because I imagine that's something you never get used to, no matter how many times you do it. Too bad I'm your only company on this adventure right now, and I can get a bit annoying and a drain on your sanity. No, 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 crap, 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 no, no, no. But let's save our progress right now. But it's so nice we can go to fiery areas now. Ow. Oh no. Oh no. Oh please no. Oh. Okay, seriously. I feel an ominous. I keep hearing that ominous uh, growl in the distance. Surely. There's something to that. It's probably the next boss. It'd be hilarious if it was, say, a Crocomire.
Wouldn't it be funny if this was a Krakomire boss battle? I gotta say though, this is looking like an awesome scene. Hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm sorry. That is hilarious. But is that who I think it is? Oh, you you're kidding me. Wow. I'm sorry, I can't. Oh man. Oh. Oh man. You know, I, I don't know, but uh I I really tempted to try and go through this uh boss battle, but I don't I mean we're already at twenty one minutes and this could probably take ten minutes. I don't wanna to go to thirty minutes, so okay, we're gonna see we're gonna we are going to Yeah, you know what? Yeah, screw it. We are just going to do this boss battle in the next episode. Sorry for every sorry everybody for leaving you on a little cliffhanger here, but uh, I'll post the next episode pretty quickly after this video, so there will be much of a cliffhanger. But thank you so much for watching if you made it this far, and if you uh if you enjoyed the video so far, or you're enjoying the playthrough so far, don't forget to hit a like. It helps with the channel a lot. And uh, comment down below what do you think about the return of a old friend here? I know I'm happy to see him, even though it makes completely no sense, or it could just be maybe a distant relative, or who knows. But I'm happy to see this old friend. Uh, of course, which means Ridley's not too far behind either. So, see you all next episode.